Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, June 8th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, a four day narrow range developing at these highs. Yesterday was a day down within the range, the prior day a day up, day down, and right now, today, we're seeing modest strength at the previous session's lows, which could lead to more movement within the range. The four day developing range right now is uh, super narrow and this comes during a week where we have little economic data points. This morning we had initial jobless claims and that's pretty much it for the rest of the week. We don't have much else the rest of the week heading into the weekend. Next week we do get CPI on Tuesday. Could be a big day of reaction Tuesday and Wednesday we get the FOMC statement and the federal interest rate decision so again could be more sideways here into the weekend perhaps even Monday ahead of Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday volatility next week so range bound price action still an upward bias right now so fading this edge uh, opens up a potential bounce back toward the center of the range, maybe across the range. Failure to hold this edge, and you're working your way back down to 4240 down below. If we take a look here at the next one here, the NQ. Let's bring that up right here. You'll notice with the NQ right now, big day down. Huge day of selling pressure in the previous session. One of the largest uh, days of selling pressure we've seen the entire year, really. Um, big time weakness out of the three day narrow range never found its footing for a strong low and instead continued to push downward into the bullish Pima trigger zone here so closing on lows and here you're seeing a failed new low develop that failed new low looks very similar to what we saw back here price actually closed below the eight then saw a failed new low and, and rally in this case over here so it's a pretty solid pullback opportunity at the moment we're holding right at the lows uh, of the month so far and this bounce especially with the higher low that's come in after the initial jobless claims this morning that higher low is pointing to more potential strength uh, yesterday afternoon in our trading room we mentioned after this selling pressure we could see a fade after trend day that takes us back up the range uh, perhaps even back toward the previous sessions midpoint again uh, Given the strength of this market, buying or defending for bulls here inside the Pima trigger zone is the best way to go for another attempt at pushing this thing back to highs or perhaps even new highs. A failure in here and you start working your way back down the range toward the recent edge, about 13.6, 13.5. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Crude oil up about four tenths of 1% right now, but stuck in the range. I mentioned this yesterday that this market has gotten uh, very comfortable trading inside this range. We've seen prices test edges and come back, test edge and come back, test edge and come back. But we've seen a lot of movement near the center of the range. It's not ready to push through 76 and approach 80 or 84s. And it's not really ready to break down through 66s and drop either. So this is the happy range right now for crude oil. Given the fact that we pushed from the lows recently, and now the highs again, we, we could be stuck in this middle portion for a little while, but an edge test again would be the spot to fade it uh, back in, fade it back in, a breakout through the zone, and you're opening up 80 half ahead. Again, could be stuck in this range for a while to go. If we take a look here at gold futures, this one's up 7 tenths of a percent. This one also stuck in a range right now. You got 2,000 on the top side, you have 1940 on the bottom side. 1970 the middle of the zone and we're just kind of chopping around that zone right now a little bit of compression here we could easily make a move to retest 2000 up above and likely get faded back down if we make a move to the edge over here could see a bounce back up at some point we may see a breakout from this range but as we know crude oil or rather gold can go sideways for a while longer than you can expect and then finally it'll get its move but the first thing to keep in mind is this is a major rejection at a true edge and since then we've dropped downward here to begin the month the early pullback has been sold not quite new lows yet but it has been sold that would suggest more weakness ahead um, 
And again, a push through 1940, a real breakdown through 1940 opens up a return to 1830 to 1800 down below. Lastly, taking a look here at the YM. YM had a very quiet nothing day yesterday. Super, super quiet overall. Uh, it's a narrow four-day range right now. And if you look at the one-day range here from yesterday, uh, three days in a row it's been below 65 percent of ADR well today's a developing day but still below it that's super narrow again this day back here is not too big either but big enough this compression right now could keep prices in check again for a little while longer we do have a very light week of economic data this week next week could pick things up we're right here sitting below the 33800 edge that's a big time level here the FOMC the most recent FOMC from May 3rd, we're going to get another one here next week. So we're, we're right in the zone again. If you start to push through this zone, it can really open up some upside, but it just hasn't been able to find strength beyond that area. So right now it could be range bound between 33,400 and the recent high of 33,900. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.